Hey, I'm Grimes, and uh, this is my hunger cover shoot. <laughs> I guess I just, I engineered a pop star, if that makes any sense. You know, I just, um, but I used myself. But you know, I, I directed all the videos and did all the album art and wrote all the songs and produced all the songs. And um, I don't know, I, I, just, I like created a, a company and brand, which is Grimes, which is my life, I guess. I guess maybe Lady Gaga did it first, actually, so never mind. But, but, no, but like it was DIY, you know, it was totally DIY. And like it started out with me like finding tapes in the garbage and finding a tape copier in the garbage and copying the tapes by hand, you know? So, I mean, I think the key difference, like there's a degree of, you know, putting stuff on for Grimes. I mean, there's also the fact that Grimes is like a public thing, you know? So any situation in which I'm engaging with like a huge audience, it's like, I can't be me completely because it's just really nerve wracking. And I think that's a lot of the, it, it, it's taken me a long time to just get comfortable speaking on camera and stuff because it's not something I was used to. You know, like this whole thing happened in the, like a year. So I had to learn real quick. And um, I think that's kind of the, the main difference is that like Grimes is something, just because there's so many eyes on it, it's inherently different from just how I am. And on, on the other hand, I guess like Grimes is kind of like the uncensored version from like an artistic standpoint because you know, what I'm doing with music or something like that. A lot of times it's stuff that I like don't, don't even talk to people about or, you know, like I can't sing in front of my friends. Like I, I couldn't, I probably couldn't sing in a room of five. Like I can sing in front of 5,000 people, but I could not sing in front of five people, you know? And I think that, that's sort of the weird, the weird thing about this is that it, on one hand it's way more real, but it's only real almost because it's so surreal to, access such a huge number of people rather than a small, small number of people. You know, on a personal level, it's almost scarier to be like real with yourself, or, you know, who you are or whatever. Like MIA, for example, like it just her ability to construct her, the mythology of MIA is, is really good regardless of what you think about her, you know, it's, it's like that's a talent on its own. There's definitely a degree to which I think if someone is considered to be important in fashion that they they can't be a, a techie kind of person, you know? And I think that's a really weird, like fashion as an industry has a reputation for being vapid or something, which is another kind of one of these things that you see. But you know, it's like, I feel like for Mariah Carey or something, you know, like anyone who's a sex icon, it's like there's, there's no way that they could be um, important in terms of the songwriting or production. But it's like, who could write top line for Mariah Carey? You know what I mean? She's Mariah Carey. Like no one else can sing that. So how could someone, how could some dude possibly write that for her? You know what I mean? Or sometimes I think a lot of people feel like sexism is over. And I didn't even really experience a lot of sexism in my life until I really entered the music industry. And then it was like, it's difficult to buy a microphone because the guy at the store is like laughing at me and won't take me seriously. And I'm like, can I just see your condenser mics? You know, it's that kind of thing. But I don't know. I guess like people seem to just really assume that I'm, kind of an airhead, I think that's, there's a lot of, you know, everyone thinks I'm like a druggie, everyone thinks I'm, I, I don't know, I'm really just sort of weird and like Tumblr, I'm not even on Tumblr, but um, I guess it's just hard for people to wrap their head around the idea of someone being able to produce as well as be a front person, maybe. I don't know, I feel like maybe it's not a totally sexist thing. I was like really, kind of shocked when I found the, the Kanye produces all his own stuff. You know, just because he's such an icon as a personality. And I feel like that's something you don't normally think of someone who's, you know, outgoing and um, in the front as being the person who's like sitting at a computer for hours, like slaving away with the production. So, I don't know. But yeah, I, I think I'm more of a producer than a vocalist or a performer. I, you know, I do those things, but um, the thing that I like doing is, is working on the songs technically. If I was just supposed to sing and I wasn't allowed to produce, I wouldn't do it. But if I was, wasn't allowed to sing and I was only allowed to produce, I would definitely do it. I